Okay guys, you just saw my little recording montage, um, I didn't want to show you guys me training, I wanted to show you guys, sorry, I wanted to show you my, me training, because if a Pokemon dies, I don't want everyone to say, no, oh, I bet it died during training, no, Golit is a freaking monster, no matter what Pokemon he faced, the freaking Caracosta, scare the crap out of me, the Vileplume, scare the crap out of me, the Rhydon, scare the crap out of me, and it turned out the Kravana was the one that did the most damage, but there are some freaking powerful Pokemon in this patch of grass right here. Um, but yeah. Ooh, what's here? Carvana, of course, after I speak of the devil. Um, I tried to train Blitzel. I did, like, one battle. I was like, nope, not switch training this thing. I'll probably switch train it later. That'll probably be for next episode. Not sure what's gonna go on in this episode. Stop encountering Pokemon. Um, but Octus is looking pretty good. He's pretty bulky, as you guys could see. He could take basically anything that um, was thrown at him and I'm really proud of this guy because that was just amazing on his part as you can see there is no game audio in this episode there will be music um, as I'm saying this um, I, I, you guys are probably hearing music already I don't, I don't freaking know I'm not a mind reader or time teller um, I haven't even begun to edit these things yet I'm, so far you've seen the episodes 1 and 2 this is episode 3 so far I've just match recorded the 3 um, I have class um, in the next hour or so. All right, well, we all have the same number of Pokemon. X Transceiver is ringing. I like this part of the game. It was cool. Hello, everyone. Is everyone doing okay? She looks like a what was that? A, a meerkat. Bianca looks like a meerkat. Sharon just looks like Sasuke, and then Juniper's Juniper, and then I'm me. I'm just Dan. I'm just here. That's how it always is. I'm always just here and I am Dan. And I'm gonna spend all my freaking money on Pokeballs. That's freaking right. I'm spending all my dang money on Pokeballs. Yep, I totally do need to heal my Pokemon. Not really. I, all I did was face that one Blitzel and then I healed up and then I healed up for moms and just went right back there. Um, alright. See you again. And I didn't bother face cam recording all that training because all I'm going to do is like five times speed it up because I did like eight minutes worth of training, eight, ten minutes, and uh, there's just no point. What does PC stand for? Good question, Bianca. Just ignore that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I like that. Just just don't worry about it. It's, it's chill. Don't worry. One thing, when you go to Stryton City, go to and meet an inventor named Fennel. Yeah, she's pretty chill. 
Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna buy all the Pokeballs, man. I got four thousand dollar. I could buy twenty Pokeballs. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nope. We're gonna buy ten at a time because then we get the Premier Ball. You also get a Premier Ball as an added bonus. And I got one potion already. Or I, apparently, I don't have a single potion. I'll get two potions. And then that will be it. Wait, can I buy 10 more Pokeballs? No, not 10. Nope, just 7. Okay, but that'll be about it for the buying and stuff. Okay, now there's going to be this huge speech at the plaza by Jet Getsis. Get, I don't know how to say his name. Getsis. I think it's Getsis. I sped that up because there's no freaking way I want to deal with this. My hands actually really hurt because I'm like on the computer and I'm like this the entire time. And my 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 hand teeth hurt. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners and that have come Oh, that have come that have come together. But you know what? Frigate can't read for crap. Cause we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth. PETA guys, it's freaking PETA. Not PETA from like Hunger Games, but PETA as in like the animal safety thing. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way, yikes, I don't know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. I actually know their exact potential. There's like stats and stuff, like max IV, stuff like that. So we know their potential already. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equal. I'm not considering Pikachu my equal, considering he is a little mouse thing. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between poke people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. That's what guess, gets this is. It's gonna sound like I will only speak during gets this lines. Older man, <laughs> older man, about the speech. What do you think we should do? Younger man, liberate Pokemon. That's not even possible. I agree. And then there's N, Mr. Showboat over here. Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying, slow down. You're talking too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't hear it either. How sad! Oh my god, this guy's a creeper. My name is N. I don't know why they just. They're like, alright, press the keyboard. This one, alright. N, his name's N. Got it. I would love for his name to be like Q or something like that. The Pokedex, eh? So you're gonna confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that then. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Dan, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Um, bro, is, is he a potential stalker slash rapist? Garbador! Oh, sheesh, y'all! It's a trash bag! Alright, uh, Garbador is poison. We are mud. <laughs> we are. Oh no! The poison, man! Ooh, that kills! The poison's gonna kill! Ooh, I got low battery. That's not good. That's no good. That's no esta bueno. Accuracy is gonna fall. Why did he have to hit that poison gas, man? Even more, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Toxic Spikes, man. What is this thing? What? What is this? Alright, I got two more hits. Poison luckily is not doing that too much damage. Now a Pokemon will be badly poisoned if I switch them out. Okay, I need one more hit. Hopefully my computer doesn't shut off. Sorry you guys have to see the 10% thing. If you did see it, then I don't know. If you didn't, I don't care. Ooh, one more hit, guys. One more hit. Luckily, this <laughs> luckily these Pokemon have no moves. Uh, that's all I can really say. Potion? No? Okay, good. <laughs> Alright.
right. Garbodor fainted. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Level 10, 285. That experience, though. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. What, were you cussing at you for being a weirdo? Freaking rapist? Rapist? An anal rapist? Hmm, strange guy. Yeah. yeah they, they anal rapists sure are strange guys. Um, or girls. It depends. All right, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And Dan, the Pokeman, out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this latest video. If you want to follow me on all the social medias, they're all lowercase because, you know, captions and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.